I thought this question had a little bit of a national registry kind of thing to it. Now, this is a great example of a question that if you're not sure, you should be able to get this by ruling out three of the choices, and that's going to leave one. And that's important. That's a, that's a real, um, that really works. There's two ways to get a question correct, to know the answer. The other way is to know three of them aren't the answer. All right, a patient presents with a respiratory rate of 28 per minute with minimal chest rise. You should report this finding as. All right. Bradypnea would be slow breathing. Now, chain stokes breathing um, is a, a pattern of breathing, and a pattern changes. We see this in um, increasing intracranial pressure. So now we have hypopnea and hyperventilation. What is rapid, deep breathing? Hyperventilation. Is this breathing deep? No has minimal chest rise. Hyperventilation is rapid and deep. This person with minimal chest rise, even with this rate of 28 a minute, is underventilating. Correct answer is hypopnea. Why? Because of the minimal chest rise. Essentially, it's failure. Hypopnea is underventilation. Remember how I said, if you say, I don't know what hypopnea is, but slow breathing is out and chain stokes is out because, uh, you know, we'll talk about that. Now I've got two of them, but hyperventilation is rapid and deep. You don't see a lot of uh, hypopnea. You also can see hyperpnea, but we'll go on with that. All right. National Registry can pop in images now. So we're trying to do that as well. What is this pattern? A respiratory pattern characterized by a crescendo, a buildup and decrescendo, moving back down, breathing, with a period of six to 10 seconds of apnea, and then a repeat is referred to as. And that is chain stokes breathing. That is the classic pattern. We have a description. <laughs> and then a pause. And then it happens again. And that is the classic pattern of chain stokes breathing. Um, ataxic is a occasional varied breathing. Agonal are the dying breaths. And central neurogenic hyperventilation is hyperventilation that's caused by injury uh, to the central nervous system. All right, y'all be well, you take care. Uh, keep doing good things, be good to yourself. Keep studying and I'll see you next week.